हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल डेस्ट टू डेस्टिनेशन सो दिस वीडियो इज एक्चुअली यू नो आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रेक डाउन दैट डेटा इंजीनियर्स व्हाट एक्चुअली दे डू एंड इफ यू थिंक लाइक नोइंग अ लिटल अबाउट सीक्वल एंड पाइथन इज एनफ टू बिकम अ डेटा इंजीनियर दैट्स कम्प्लीटली रॉन्ग सो होल्ड ऑन सो यू माइट बी मिसिंग द बिगर पिक्चर इन दैट केस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी कवरिंग अप लाइक क्लियरिंग अप ऑल कॉमन मिथ्स explain like how to uh, interview for the common questions whether you are a fresher or experienced or trying somebody to switch the you know domain and to, to this booming industry so section 1 i'll be explaining like understanding the myth uh, misunderstand misconceptions section 2 i'll be covering the water analogy like how will you understand what data engines do and the third section i'll be covering like what data engines actually do in some railway scenario and then in fourth section i'll be covering tools and skills what is required so let's begin so in first section which is understanding the misconception so you know the many people think if you have a skills in sql or python you can easily apply for any data roles for example data analyst data scientist or data engineer but that's not how it works you need to understand the difference between them these roles are very different and before you even start preparing for interviews you need to know what each of them actually does especially the data engineer who plays one of the most crucial roles behind the scenes in this section we we'll, i'll be explaining the water analogy so that you understand better about the data engineer roles so suppose let's make this simple think of a data engineer as a plumber but for data right just like water comes from multiple sources rivers lakes and oceans data also comes from multiple places apps databases website apis and more so but how does that data or water actually reach your home so you can use it through a pipeline right so the plumber makes sure water is clean properly channeled and usable similarly a data engineer builds data pipeline to move data from all these sources clean it transform it and store it a way that other people like analyst or data scientist or business team reporting team can actually use it now that's where a data engineer step in they clean standardize transform this data so that when it goes into a data lake house or warehouse it becomes usable and reliable section 3 is what data engineer actually do so suppose for example imagine a company a company which collects the data from different sources for example some people have nine digit numbers and instead of 10 and some people write dates as dd mm yy and some as yy mm dd so that's a mismatch of the date format right and even suppose some even write the random text in the uh, email field let's suppose so as you can see the data is varying like all together it is inconsistent right and it is also not following the standard specifications so in that case so that's where the data engineer role step in they actually clean it standardize transform this data and so that when it goes into a data warehouse or lake house it becomes usable and reliable for all the businesses so data engineer also handle how data flows between the system and then for example moving data from sql warehouses and cloud storage or streaming platform into a unified space section 4 is tools and skills so now let's talk about the real question what skills do you actually need to become a data engineer so number 1 would be sql so this is the foundation even in interviews you know whether you have 2 uh, 4 year or whatever x number of years experience sql questions are always asked like always learn how queries work under standard optimization indexing window functions how you can you know apply optimization technique over the data warehouses so that it would be easy for you to understand what is the need of sql and why it is so important now the second one i would uh, emphasize here is one oops language i would prefer here python so number 2 which is the most important skill is python here you don't need to be a software developer or you but you should at least know how to write or you know automate the script data processing and build simple pipeline through maybe through python 
or maybe java so whatever suits you but python would be the again the most preferred language here now number 3 is big data and spark so any big data technologies or but and spark would be very necessary here to hold on to data engine tools like pi spark are essentials because they let you process massive amount of data in a distributed way so understand in such a way like pi spark is just a python api that's why i emphasized why you know in number 2 python is the most important skills here so but it's one of the most demanding skills right now apache pi spark in in your interview you will be asked for the primary role and of a data engineer should hold the pi spark you know, pi spark knowledge now number 4 is cloud and data bricks so i have worked across all major clouds and i can confidently say that data bricks is one of the best platform to learn you will also have free edition here that you can leverage the uh, free edition to just learn it's free to start and you can actually run spark code to see how distributed data processing works and no this is not just a sponsored mention so it just i am giving you the you know, for the practice purpose you can learn it and in now the next section would be section 5 which i will show you here like how to learn and grow so if you are starting from scratch so here is my ad- advice the most strong skill you need to understand is sql make it your strong skill and primary skill then move to python this would be the sequence of learning for you so uh, first is sql and then python and focus on the logic and problem solving solving right get familiar with one of the cloud basics even it's such a uh, just how data warehouse or maybe lake house work but most importantly build project this is the only requirement so that you can connect whatever you have learned how you can apply over there and real world projects show you how all the pieces actually connect with each other ingestion transformation and storage analysis actually come together in the project so always make sure that you are doing hands on project once a while so that once you have got the foundation you will start seeing how data engineer you know powers everything behind the scene so that's section 5 and now coming to the section c section 6 is all about boot camp and whatever i would say my final thoughts so suppose if you got any link seminar for free edition must log in there get a familiarization with the data engineer techniques and the you know the blogs so my final thought would be again like if you found this uh, video helpful only attend the seminars which is free and so that you will be able to understand how things work behind the scene read the log read the logs and also do the projects so yeah that's all and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share it with someone who is also exploring data engineer thanks for watching and remember like every data engineer you build brings you one step closer to your dream job i hope you understand this video clearly thank you